guys i'm back with another video and today we have another korean barbecue mukbang because my other mukbang is not like uploading so i'm just gonna make another one and i'm still gonna post the other one just like we gotta work with youtube see if it's gonna post but um i already have um i have some onion and garlic on the griddle and um some like a piece of kimchi already on here because i just wanted to have something cooking up but I'm gonna tell y'all everything that we have, the spread. Um, so of course some lettuce, um, black bean noodles, regular samyang noodles. I wanted to try this pink, this pink stuff. I don't think it's the same pink sauce as like the thing that went viral. And I, I believe it's a salad dressing, but I just wanted to try it cause it's pink. <laughs> um, and then I have sambal, it's basically like sriracha but i think it's more fresh like it's not a hot sauce it's like fresh chilies in there and then i have gochujang um this is the this sauce that i was i ate in the other video give you a close up and in the picture it has literally has onions and like green onions so i'll put that in the in the sauce and then this is sesame uh seed oil with sesame seeds salt and black pepper and then I have, <coughs> this kimchi is like spicy and, let me flip it. Okay. Um, then I have cabbage, cucumber. This is perilla leaf. And um, in Korean, I think it's sesame, seed leaf, sesame leaves, but it's actually perilla leaves. It has nothing to do with sesame seeds or sesame at all and then this is enoki and then just some peppers and then garlic and i'll have pork belly finally um uh, we actually got it from the <coughs> i'm gonna have to take this off Hold on. and then i finally i found oh yeah so we got the pork belly from the korean or oriental store uh just as well as like this the perilla leaves the enoki um what else did we get from there the, these pickle radish so i have the this pickle radish and then this other pickle radish that i was talking about in the other video it you literally eat this with a uh, cream barbecue i can't even show y'all the picture because the juice is gonna spill out but you literally eat this with like cream barbecue and then for some reason i just wanted to try some ginger with this and then this is the kimchi and then for drinks, <clears throat> I have a, a blue raspberry Warheads drink. And then, the, uh, I'm sorry, the smoke and the spices are getting in my throat. But Hubby has a Warheads watermelon drink. And I'm just going to pour the drink in my cup right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I'm gonna put some pork belly on here and some beef. Let me get this. Ooh. Okay, this is too high. Like that. And then some pork belly. <coughs> And I have long arms, so this is like easy for me to do. <laughs> I'm a very tall person. But, oh, I don't know if I already said this, but I love blue raspberry everything. I'm actually 5'8". <clears throat> Close enough. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, I'm 5'3". No, he's not. Wait, why is he taking a picture like that? We're going to get a little bit of everything on here. I'm going to taste a little bit of these noodles. This grilled kimchi. Mm. Mm. This kimchi is the bomb. I think this is like a fresher one, like not as fermented. I can't really tell though, because it seems so crunchy.
This is a different brand. I got that kimchi from the um, Oriental store. This one smells more sour, but I feel like this one's more fermented because we had this one longer as well. I'm not gonna pull off of no juice. So after I had Korean barbecue that first video, I literally have been eating it like every day. Like I, I'm addicted to Korean barbecue. Like I love it so much. Um this beef is done. This is literally my favorite thing as of lately. Put this on his plate. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to eat that. Okay. Let's get a piece of piece. Lettuce looks so good. Let's try the bulgogi. Um, we marinated in a teriyaki sauce this time. Get. I forgot to put enoki on here. I'm tripping. Right in that pork belly fat. Oh, and let me try the perilla leaf. There's so much going on. I don't even know what to do. So this will be, I tried a little bit. I just spit everywhere. I tried a little bit off camera because, um, I just want to make sure I like liked it and it kind of gives me a peppery taste a little bit. I like it. So it's pretty good. Let me try the, um, the radish. Gosh, it looks so cool. I know you're supposed to put this first. Let me fix it. Okay. We got the radish. <clears throat> we got our meats overcooking because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Like that. And you're going to put your perilla leaf, then your meats in your noodles. I'm going to put an onion. And then. Some garlic. Okay. Mmm. So we, got, I don't know, is, is that wine or is it? Oh, so we got some peach sake, 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 I think it's sake. Um, but we don't know if it's wine or do you? Yeah, it smells like wine. It's smooth. I like this. Oh, white peach sake. Wait, yeah. That's good. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I don't believe these are done. You can get uh grab some shrimp mm -hmm. and like anything else off my plate if you want to. That sourness didn't hit me. Huh? I said that sourness didn't hit me. It was that sour for you? No, it was like right after I drank it. I was that's pretty good. I don't know if I felt it. Okay. <clears throat> Need some more shrimp? Not yet. On the body. Um, 
I almost haven't even touched that after I've touched the cord. Okay. Um, yeah, not yet. You can get some shrimp though off my plate if you want. What's this? It's like poison ivy. Uh, it's called perilla leaf. I don't think you're gonna like that big of a piece. Uh, oh, so you don't pour out your food in it? You, you can, in. but I don't know. It's a really, like, it's a strong, a little bit of a strong, just try it. Just try it. No, not by itself. Oh. With the food. <laughs> you're definitely not gonna like it by itself. Well, no, it's because like it's, cause it's like a peppery, like, it tastes like a plant. It's, it's good, though. What? Bit right into it. <laughs> he bit the whole thing. Um, this is like basically done. I'm sorry, I don't like the fatty pieces. I don't know, it's really fatty. I'm gonna change my shirt real quick. You got the what? I'm gonna change my shirt. Yeah, it's sweet. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna put it on there. What is this is pickle radish? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> and I'm gonna put some of the sambal on there so I can grab it. And then some of these chai. Oh, I put raw onion and chives in this sauce. Let's get a little bit of this sauce too. We're gonna get all the sauces. Um, let me just try this again because I don't know if I like it. Mmm, sweet. A lot of these sauces are sweet. You can, oh, these are chopsticks, my bad. Mm -hmm. I just think I'm going to put some pork belly too. Yeah, you can grab from either one of these. There's two different lettuces. Lettuces? Mm. Oh my god. It's pronounced Letai because it's plural. Hmm? I said it's pronounced Letai because it's plural. Mm. Let it see. Let it see. Two minutes. Just black bread and regular. Let's go with a salmon. Let's go spicy. They're both black. This one's black. It's spicy. Mm. Mm. Appreciate the mic. Some kimchi noodles and pork belly with gochujang. What's on my bucket list to try still is 
Bidia, Bidia, Bidia. Some people pronounce it Bidia, but I think it's pronounced Bidia, Bidia. Hey, mama. Look, you got a tan. Yeah. Here goes some shrimp. I know you like some shrimp. Sweet. Can you bring me some more nothing? Thank you.